Hi, I'm Robin Gallagher, and I'm one half of Two Wacky Women. We recently published some patterns using curtain grommets. As you can see, we use them to attach the handles. When you purchase your curtain grommets, it comes with some fairly good instructions, and in our patterns, we've tried to address how to install them. But I know that many of you are very visual people, so therefore, I have put together a short video showing you how I install the grommets. I hope you enjoy it. So now we're going to mark the placement for our grommets. In the package when you get your grommets, it's going to come with a template that looks like this. And the next thing you need to know is where you want to actually place your grommets. So the pattern should tell you, or if you're doing your own, you have to figure out exactly where you want your placement. In this case, for this particular purse, I want to measure in three inches from the side and about one and a quarter inches down. So if I find my side seam and I can come on in here about three inches and I know that I have about a quarter of an inch seam at the top so and this is about one inch so I know exactly where to do it. I'm going to place my template down. I'm going In this case I'm going to use a chalk pencil and I'm going to draw all the way around the outside but you really want to use whatever happens to work. If I'm working on a lighter fabric, I would use a permanent marker. You're not going to be able to see that once you're done, so it's whatever you need to do to be able to see it. So once you've done that, you're going to take it to your sewing machine, and you're going to sew a row of stitching right around where you've drawn that line. I prefer to use my free motion foot because it's just easier to go around that circle. So I go ahead and do that, and on after I've placed uh, the markings for all four of mine, and then I go on to the next step. So once you've sewn that line all the way around where your grommet is going to be placed, and I'm going to hold this and hopefully you can see I've actually sewn around there, I'm now going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut out the center. Now this doesn't have to be real neat, you just want to be fairly close to that line that you, uh, that you sewed. So I'm just going to cut around here and then I can proceed. As you can see, I've cut my hole. It doesn't have to be real neat. It just needs to be fairly close to that sewn line. There's two parts to the grommet. One has a raised edge and the other one has little prongs inside. So we're going to take the one that has the raised edge and we're going to put it up inside. And this takes a little bit of futzing with. So you're just going to work, work it around and because I have that stitching, it kind of holds its shape and helps me in getting that fabric all kind of tucked underneath that raised edge. So there it is. You can see, you can see, still see some of the raw edges, but it really doesn't matter. But I've got it all ready to go. I now take the side that has the little prongs, and I'm going to place it down. And then I'm going to put it down, and I'm going to apply some weight to it. And maybe you heard that snap, I don't know, but it did snap into place and now my grommet is completely installed on the inside and on the outside. 